Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube viewers. Um, I had started one subject, and then I ran through some some, uh, some thoughts, and I said, "Let me. I have to change this." So, um, but the topic is the same. It's just the way I'm going about it, going about it in a different way. But um, good morning. Good morning, everybody. You know, we made it through another week. We're still standing. We're strong individuals, and we're gonna get even stronger because you know. Uh, things in life, they're waiting for you to wake up. So they're ready to come at us. So what I'm trying to do here is to, you know, give us all another way of looking at things and to, you know, embrace these challenges. It's because of these challenges that it makes us stronger, it makes us better people. And um, it puts us in the right perspective in how we think and uh, how we deal with uh, people, situations in life. So today's topic is... Um, you know, there's no difference from one sin to another sin. So we can look at that as in terms of uh, whether it want to be manipulation, whether it wants to be lies, whether it wants to be misleading someone falsely. You know, these are things that happen constantly and they happen, you know, throughout. So um, the way I want to um, speak about this, the way I want to, you know, bring this out is to say, um, to say, uh, use a story as an example. So now we have two different stories that are taking place, but these stories are true. Um, there is a group of people and these group of people have been looting. They've been reckless in every kind of way. Okay. That's one story. Okay, there's a group of people and they have been reckless, they have been looting, and um, by the way, uh, some of the organizers are some of the wealthiest uh, people in the world, some, or belong to some of the wealthiest families in the world, so they're well, well, well off, and they can afford uh, to be arrested, they can afford to, you know, have their, uh, you know, uh, to, to be in that crowd and to be in that mix. But the two stories, even though both stories are true, one of them is not. And it's the first story. The first story is not because, you know, there, we, we've heard one side of the story. But then when the truth comes out after the fact, it gets brushed under the rug. And it's a little, small, tiny article that is actually saying the truth. And, you know, the governors of all these states were saying it from, from the start that, you know, these people came from other states. It's not, and they know their states. The police are like, hey, your ID isn't from here. So they know who they were arresting, but it's a way that we get misled. The way that we take on a perception of something without doing the research, the way that we jump to conclusions and we believe what we want to believe. And I'm saying that, you know, in this day and age, this just can't be done. It cannot be done because it, uh, it, it holds you back from reaching your full potential. And being completely aware of your surroundings is, is knowing, you know, that you stand by everything that you believe. So, you know, again, if we, we take things with a grain of salt, you know, then that's saying how much we believe and how much confidence that we have in ourselves. So this is what we're building. We're, we're no longer going to say, hey, you know, I'm going to take this perception of how, you know, of what a person is, is uh, sending for me to perceive. Because that's where manipulation comes in. Everybody does it. Everybody's manipulating someone in some type of way, in some type of fashion. And that's what we have to understand. And if we don't take that, that uh, understanding, then... We'll always get walked on. We'll always get trampled on. And, you know, and most people in situations, they'll say, the first thing they say if they feel that they've been done wrong is, is why me? You know, I was a good person. Well, you know, why me? Or why is this happening to me? And I'm saying that, you know, we don't have to take that. We never have to say something like that to ourselves again. So it's basically empowering us to tap into the powers that we have. And um, by doing this, um, we stand. So, you know, things that come at us, we deal with it right down and there. But we also, you know, like you say, we have that armor to protect ourselves. Um, you know, we see it, we see manipulation. We see it, you know, you know, when kids, you know, when kids are growing up, we see it in relationships. 
and you know we play one to the other and you know we have to you know at some point you know we have to stop because uh it takes away again it takes away that why me now if you're the best person that you can be then any situation you know you can handle it you won't feel in any kind of negative way you won't look at yourself as being the person to blame or, or why is this happening to me you won't look at yourself that way you'll just see you know the individuals and the manipulative games that have been played on you so you know when people say things especially things that influence you emotionally and that's key that they influence you emotionally for you to take a stance on something know that what you're what you're taking that stance on is uh true you know, true to your ability, you know, research it and, and check it out. And like I said, we're living in a day and a, in an age where, you know, a lot of what we see, a lot of what we hear, you know, a lot of what we go through is a form of a type of uh, manipulation. And we just have to rise above that. So again, I say, you know, with this topic, take things with a grain of salt. But know that by, you know, you building on your, your confidence, by you building on your you know, subconscious by you continuously, you know, building, you know, putting the build, adding the building blocks to your our already, you know, our already uh, building body, you know, ever growing, ever learning, ever, you know, experiencing body, you know, we become more and more prepared for, you know, life and what's going on with us. I know that was kind of like out there and all over the place. And sometimes that message is out there, but the message is to say, um, you know, part of building ourselves is not uh, minimizing uh, situations where, you know, we look at uh, one situation, we say, oh, well, this is a bad situation, that's sad, and but it's the same situation on a, on a smaller scale. We have to look at one as the same. Because again, remember how negative energy works. There's always truth in negativity. There's always truth in positivity. So never uh, minimize one for the other. And, you know, continuously look at things and we continuously open up our eyes, you know, to look at life and, and where we fit in this whole puzzle. So with that, I want to say thank you guys for, um, you know, starting out your day, you know, with me and allowing me to start my day with you. Um, like I said, it's Friday. I'm talking fast because, you know, I, I want you to take this message and get out there and apply some of the things that, that you see, you know, of all the things, you know, all the different uh, situations and all these different videos in some way, shape or form, you will run into something. You will encounter it, you know, this weekend if you're not already encountering right now as we speak. So, you know, look at what applies to you and, you know, take that day. Just because I make a video, it, it doesn't have to, just because it's Friday, doesn't mean that you have to play a Friday video. Play any video that, you know, that you see that goes according to the situation, you know, that you're in. And that's how this is working. So that allows us to, you know, get up every day with one another and to continuously support one another. So thank you for your motivation, and, and I look forward to our next video. Have a beautiful day. Peace and blessing. Good morning to all. And remember, you know, take note of some of the things that are going on around you. You know, you'll be surprised that, you know, that what, what you know, we're not being told about, you know, things. And we take on a perception of that. So, you know, with that, I'm going to leave everybody. and you Enjoy your weekend. We'll look forward to the next video tomorrow. Peace and blessing once more.